guys, just popping in here really quickly before the video starts with a very exciting announcement. We have merch! It has been a long time coming, but I am so excited to finally announce that we do have merch for the channel. We have a couple of different designs right now on a couple of different items. We have the lovely, wonderful, fantastic banner that comes available embroidered on crewnecks, hoodies, and hats. We also have a mug. The hoodies are a limited edition item and will only be available for two weeks. They come in all sorts of really fun, cute colors, and I just love them. They're so soft and cozy, and they will be fantastic for the upcoming fall season. Then we have the Have a Lovely, Wonderful, Fantastic Day skull that comes printed on t-shirts, hoodies, and mugs. I am just overjoyed with how all of the merch has turned out. I really hope you guys like the designs that I came up with. I wanted to do something that was simple and understated, yet also like really resonated to the channel. And I just hope you guys like it as much as I do. So check out the link down below in the description to get yourself some lovely, wonderful, fantastic merch. Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a lovely, wonderful, fantastic day. Today we're going to be doing another edition of the mystery wheel. Oh, this is Monday. Wow. A hit you thought. Anyway, today we're going to be doing another edition of Mystery Wheel Monday where I spin this lovely, very colorful wheel behind me three times and then I, I, you know, either unbox whatever it tells me to unbox or I do whatever it tells me to do. So that's what we're going to be doing today. I am on a mission, a quest. It is like my grail quest. What is your quest? To seek the holy grail. Get rid of all the subscription boxes in my closet. The subscription box closet of doom over there. It's full, it's girthy, it's busting open. Without further ado, let's go ahead and do the first bit of the wheel. Ooh, it's a little unsturdy because I tilted it forward some so the lights wouldn't reflect off of it, so um, it's very unbalanced. If this falls over and hits me in the head, well. But well, let's head over to the closet and grab out an empty bag. I can't even get into the closet anymore because of this rug. Alrighty, so here we go. Just, oh my goodness. Okay, so let's go ahead. It's getting taller. Wow, very impressive. The Ipsy's over here in like this very dark corner that you guys can barely even see. So I'm just gonna reach into the darkness here and just pull something out. It's a little spooky. Perfect. Let's dive on into the first of the unboxings here. This is an Ipsy Plus bag. The wheel told me to get a regular Ipsy, but we're just gonna deal with it. I think it's gonna be fine. Don't really feel like reaching my hand back into that dark little crevasse again. So uh, we're just gonna go with this one. Oh, <laughs> the texture. I was not anticipating the texture. I reached in expecting like kind of the same canvasy material that I'm used to with a lot of the Ipsy Plus bags, but instead it's like this very soft red fuzzy stuff. I just wasn't ready for something that soft sticking my hand into the bag. Alright, so pulling out the little paper here first to see if we can figure out exactly how old this bag is. That's always fun. Oh, it's from December 2020. <laughs> so we got like a little Santa bag. That makes sense. I do absolutely love Christmas, so maybe this will get me into the holiday spirit early. The touching of the bag is freaking me out just a little bit. It's almost like too soft. Uh, but anyway, the very first thing I am pulling out of here is a box and this is a Coombs. A QMS Medicosmetics Ace Vitamin Day and Night Cream. I don't know what Ace Vitamin is, but it's supposed to be a botanical marine complex to moisturize. And one of my personal favorite face moisturizers is the Elemis, and I'm pretty sure that's also like a marine cream. I don't really know what they mean by that. Like, I don't know if they're like, there's some like little fish bits in it or some seaweed. I'm not sure. Um, but that almost looks very similar to the Elemis one. Um, but this is, it's a nice container, some pretty blue plastic with a nice shiny silver lid. How long does this kind of stuff stay good for? Like, can it like hang out in a closet for half a year or more? Is that okay? Oh, it's incredibly thick. That is a super, super thick cream. That seems like it would be very moisturizing. I also feel like I might've received something like this before and it was like dumb expensive as I dropped the cap on the floor and it rolls away into oblivion. All right, next up in here, goodness gracious, feeling a little squeezy tube. Let's go ahead and pull that out. Oh, it's a mascara. I was not anticipating that. So this is from Ico. It is the Rock Out and Lash Out Mascara in the shade Beatnik Beat, that's hard to say. Beatnik Black. I'm pretty sure from what I've seen on, you know, TV that beatniks are like the people that, that clap by snapping. Is that right? I don't think that's their only trait or quality, but that's like what I picture, like wearing full black with a beret and like snapping for people that just read poetry. Is that ringing any bells for anybody else? Okay, so this is a very interesting one. We have like a big 
bulbous end and then it kind of goes skinny in the center and then comes out a little bit more. Fairly standard mascara scent, but this is supposed to turn up the volume on your lashes with our unique guitar shape. That is definitely a first. That is truly a first for me, a guitar shaped mascara wand is something that I've never heard of before. So interesting. All right, next in here, I'm feeling a tiny little stick. So let's go ahead and pull that out. <laughs> <laughs> I was actually pretty excited about this because I thought like the color of the stick was really cool and I was like oh it's gonna be an interestingly colored eyeliner but then I turned it around and what I discovered was that it's actually Wonder Beauty and that's just the color all of their things are and this is actually just a jet black liner so not nearly as exciting but um you guys <laughs> I really don't think Wonder Beauty makes like bad products or anything that's not what it is at all it's just the running joke on my channel that for a while there every single box I had was comprised of like mainly just Wonder Beauty products. Like it was just all Wonder Beauty. This is the Skyliner Automatic Gel Eyeliner in the shade Jet Black. Next in here is something from Ciate London, also a little bit of like a, a repeat offender in subscription boxes, but this is the Eye Luster Cream Eyeshadow. And I feel like we've received one of these kind of recently. This is in the shade Cupid. Oh my, that's very, very shiny. That looks like unicorn skin or something that's incredibly shiny and i do think i have received perhaps even this exact item before that's beautiful wow that's so pretty <laughs> Alrighty, and the very last thing we have in here is an ipsy exclusive this is an ivy beauty and this is the fireside eyeshadow palette <laughs> and as a history major like the only thing i can think of is fdr i'm sure that's not what they're going for when they're making this palette like you know American president. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, this is the Fireside Eyeshadow Palette and it has lovely names in it like Nippy, uh, S'mores, Hoodie, Evergreen, Cozy Up, Black Ice. They honestly had me until the Black Ice one. Like that's not a good thing. <laughs> Why would you put that as a name of a shadow? Uh, okay, so the palette itself, it does look kind of nice. There's a mirror and everything, but I was actually expecting these to be a bit more warm toned and maybe even more like deep and rich. They seem just a little bit muted and not just not what I was expecting. You'd think of something called fireside they would be like more like burnt oranges and maybe some reds but to me this looks just a little bit lackluster and uh, they, they just really lost me with that black eyes name. <laughs> I know that's also the name of like a very popular air freshener that you hang in your car but I also think that that's a strange thing to call a car air freshener. What, what are you doing that for? Anyway that was everything in the December 2020 Ipsy bag if you guys were you know wanting to get some holiday vibes here in the middle of August. I'm glad to have put this aside for you know however many months I can't do math so I could bring you the holiday feelings um, during the summer. Alrighty, so spin and unboxing at number one are done. Then number two is coming up. Oh, okay, so our next box we're gonna be doing together is a boxycharm. All right, back to the closet and we have a large boxycharm section here. Now it did say that it was supposed to be just like a regular boxycharm, so let me see if I can find one of these small boxes. Again, just into the darkness, it's fine. All right, so here we have a randomly selected boxycharm. Let's go ahead and cut on into this. No idea when it is from. That's part of the fun, I guess though. So let's see what we got here. All right, so we have a boxycharm bubbles and glitz and I'm gonna say just like from the imagery and the name of this. I'm gonna assume maybe this is like around the New Year's. Maybe this is like a January box. So maybe January 2021. Not that old. Only eight months old. You know, just only eight. All right, so the very first thing I'm pulling out of here is the sponge. Um, this is by Makeup Eraser. I had no idea they made anything besides just makeup erasers, but this actually looks really interesting. It has like a little cage around it. Oh, that's super cool. Okay, so this is the first ever machine washable makeup sponge. So we just have like a deep maroon makeup sponge. There is a flat bottom and a flat side, and then the rest is just kind of a regular like beauty blender shape. And then it comes with this cute little cage. Now, my question is, is there something about the sponge itself like is it constructed designed in a way that only it can be washing machined or is it just because it comes with this little like hamster ball here can i put any sponge in here and put it in the washing machine and let it like wash will it fall apart disintegrate i don't know so i don't know if there's actually like a technology attached to this sponge specifically that makes it washing machine safe or if it's just like the cage 
Also, if there's a whole lot of makeup inside your sponge, which they hold a ton of makeup, hold it all over your clothes. Would you have to like wash this literally separately? I don't know, I have a lot of questions. I think the idea is really cool because I feel like, you know, sponges just never get truly, truly clean. Um, but yeah, I do have a lot of questions. This is however very cute. If you have a cat that likes to play with large balls, they also might enjoy this. It's starting to rain and storm outside and Rin is not a fan. So he went and got his baby Yoda toy and curled up in his bed next to me. He's just so cute, but I'm sorry if you guys can hear a lot of rain in the background. It is coming down pretty hard out there. Next in here, we have the Tarte Maneater Mascara and I have definitely seen and tried this mascara before. It's pretty decent. I do like the little leopard print design on the outside. Following the- oh, MAC! Following that, we have a MAC lipstick in here. This is a luster lipstick, and from this little um, colored piece here at the end, I feel like I'm actually gonna really like this color. It is in the shade Hug Me. So this is a full-size MAC mascara. Oh, it's not. This is a full-size MAC lipstick, and I think that's a beautiful shade. I'm very excited about that, actually. I'm gonna go ahead and try it on. It has that classic MAC vanilla scent and looks incredibly similar to the color I'm wearing right now. <laughs> yeah, so uh, this is the MAC shade, and this is the color that I was already wearing, and I don't know if it's just because it's so dark in here, which I'm sorry about that, by the way. It's, just, it's I have three different lights on, but it's still very dark, um, but they look incredibly similar. However, I do love the feeling of this lipstick, and I really like the shade, too, which is kind of of obvious since I was already wearing a lipstick this color. Next up in here we have something from Huda Beauty. This is the Amethyst Obsessions palette and it's just one of her little eye palettes. I'm assuming we're going to be seeing a lot of purple shades in here. And yes, wow, that's very, very pigmented and very, very purple. My goodness. Yeah, that I'm sure you can make a stunning makeup look out of this, like a very creative, beautiful purple makeup look. But to me, I'm like, man, this is just a palette of like how many different ways I can make my eyes look bruised. I feel I've lost almost all ability <laughs> to put eyeshadow on my face. Um, so maybe once I get back into doing some more makeup, you know, going out in to the world more. Maybe I might actually put makeup on some more. Then I'll give this guy a go because the colors truly are very beautiful. They look very rich, very pigmented. Um, it's just a little scary right now. And then the last thing in this box here is from Ofra. This is the Ofra Banana Powder, which I remember there being a very, very popular powder that was a banana powder years ago. It was popularized by Kim Kardashian. I'm sure you guys probably remember that, but it was also called Banana Powder. This is just a brightening and a setting powder. And uh, yeah, it definitely it's yellow. <laughs> it's for sure yellow. It, get, it gives off banana vibes. So this is interesting. I definitely wouldn't use this all over my face because my skin already tends to pull pretty yellow, but maybe just underneath my under eye to brighten it up a little bit. And uh, yeah, so that was everything in the boxy charm from, I'm going to say like January, 2021. I, who knows though? This could be January, 2020. I don't know. Uh, but let me get you guys some prices really fast. So the Huda Beauty palette is $27. The Ofra pill, 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 pressed pay of banana powder. Huh. I'll show to say peeled bananas in there for some reason. I don't know why. It's $35. The Tarte Manator Mascara is $23. The MAC Cosmetics Lipstick is 19 and then the original makeup racer sponge is 18. So that brings the total retail value for this box to $122, which isn't too bad, but honestly, I thought the stuff in here was pretty good and I'm really excited about this lipstick. Sometimes the product that I was wearing before, I love the shade, but it is a little bit drying because it's actually a lip stain. So maybe this would be a good alternative or a topper for me because it feels really nice and comfy. Alrighty guys, so spin number two and unboxing number two is done. Alrighty, now let's go for the third and final Spin. Dangerous. Oh yay, a random box. Okay, I do actually have a box in mind that I would like to unbox. It came from one of you guys, so I'm really excited to get on into it. This is the box that I'm going for. It is from AutoZone. Oopsies. It says, please open on your channel. So I am excited to see what is in here. Let's go ahead and get into the box that I am most excited for. You guys never, ever, ever, ever need to send me absolutely anything. I do get very excited when I see something from one of you guys in the mail but truly, please never feel like you have to send me anything. If you ever feel compelled to send me something, a letter would be perfect. A letter, a little note, a cute little drawing, just it would be perfect. I have a binder where I keep all of the notes, letters, anything you guys have ever sent me is inside that binder and I love reading them. It truly brightens my day. So if there's ever an instance where you're like, I feel like I want to send her something, just a little letter, a little note like, hey, hi, a little stick figure drawing of yourself or a cat, just anything. But don't feel like you ever have to send like a physical product. That being said, I am very excited to see what 
fingers in this box. Get in the zone, out of the zone. This is from Samantha, and Samantha, thank you so very much for sending me something. Sorry it took me a little while to actually get to it. I was waiting to have some type of video where I could do, you know, a bunch of boxes together. It's like Christmas morning. Samantha, you and I use probably about the same amount of packing tape for everything. Gotta make sure it's very secure. First thing I'm seeing is a little paper here. It says, please open this on your channel. And then there is a little note attached. Ooh, it feels like canvases. I'm very excited. <laughs> They're inside a pillowcase. Oh, it's a very big pillowcase. Fine. <laughs> oh, she painted something for me. These are so pretty. Oh, thank you. I absolutely love original, like, hand-done art. These are so cute. Over here, we have a glass which looks like something is like pouring into it and out of it. And then we have some beautiful little flowers with glitter. That is so pretty. I love that gold glitter. That's very, very cute. And then over here we have another little arrangement of flowers with also some gold glitter. The colors are so bright, so pretty. You've got oranges and blacks and yellows. Also makes me feel very like fall-esque, which is just my absolute favorite. This is so sweet. Thank you so much for thinking of me, like making your own art and sending it it to me that is um, <laughs> that's that is that's way too kind i know how long it takes to think of a concept get all of your stuff together create it put it together paint it and that's just so incredibly sweet that you would think of me and send them to me oh she said that she wanted to give me a housewarming gift that's so sweet samantha thank you so much this is just so incredibly kind incredibly thoughtful i'm sure you put a lot of effort and energy into these and just thank you so much for thinking of me and sending them to me as a housewarming present that is so 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 very very sweet. All right you guys so that is everything for the three unboxings. I feel like maybe we need to ramp this up a little bit though and do a few more unboxings each time I do the wheel. I might try to like refigure how I do this because if we just do three unboxings every time we're gonna be here for like the rest of our lives. I hope you guys are prepared to unboxings together with me until we're like 90. <laughs> because the closet at this point is not getting any smaller. It's only growing, it's only increasing. So I think I might try to restructure how I do these videos to where we get through some more boxes. It is a little bit harder to unbox like a whole bunch of boxes in one video, but that's okay. Um, I'll just make sure I have ample time to film and edit. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Thank you so much for being subscribed to this channel. If you are not yet subscribed, it would mean the absolute world to me if you would consider doing so. Also, if you wouldn't care to maybe leave a like, a comment, or share this video, anything that you would do would help the channel out tremendously and I hope you guys have a lovely wonderful fantastic day and I'll see y'all next time. Bye!